where I'm from in Broward County, they get paid for prosecution. So therefore, every arrest, the longer you stay in there, they get a certain amount of money. And then some of the people, they violate your due process. Therefore, there's a procedure that they're supposed to go through 30, within 33 days. If your case is not filed, it's supposed to be dropped and you're supposed to be let out. I've seen at least five to, to 10 people in my unit when I was in jail that had been in there for over 38 days and their cases were not dropped because they didn't know what motions to file. There's some people that I've seen that I know will never get out because they didn't create before they went in. They didn't find stability before they went in. If you're not stable and you don't create anything for yourself and you don't have someone that's gonna have your back and you go to jail, you're fucked. And they'll be like, oh, I'll fuck with you, this and that, you know what I'm saying? And when you get out of jail, it's a whole different deal. Real talk. But like, when I, I, I like to build like genuine relationships with people and actually act out on what I say I'm gonna do, you know what I'm saying? That's real, man. So it's gonna be, like, I'm gonna surprise a lot of niggas. Like, when I say I'm gonna keep money on my phone, I'm gonna keep money on my phone for them boys. Jail doesn't change you, you change you. There's no such thing as jail changing you. It just gives you the time to think because they're forcing you to be there. But that, and within that time, you could have changed yourself on the outside. If you would have locked yourself in a fucking room, your parents could have locked you in a room, or somebody that cared about you could have locked you in a room. Jail is human trafficking, point blank, period. If I didn't have this time alone to become strong, I would have been like every other human being in the world with a, with a weak mind, conformed, and using their parents as a crutch. All it does is add, all, all, all that does is add a limitation. You're no longer free-minded. You have someone you fear and someone you follow and someone you abide by their ideals and their perspective. The whole point is having a free mind. A free mind can do a lot of things. What's good, boy? It's Cortez, bro. Up, nigga, I remember you slide. I didn't have the time alone by myself that I that I, I needed to breed this, there would be no X, X, X. When you go to prison and someone wants to kill you, but they don't want to tell you. Sign language. So if someone could be planning to do a hit on you and you wouldn't even know. They they do this thing and I forgot what it's called. I think it's called a fish hook or some shit. It's called some crazy shit. Buck mouth, I think it's called a, 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 buck, a buck mouth or some shit. But they grab your fucking mouth and they cut that bitch open. They put a knife in the side of that bitch and cut that bitch open. And they, they use sign language to do that type of shit all the time. I'm fucking awesome. My fans and myself are fucking awesome. And my dick growed a few inches while I was in jail. <laughs> Why would I? Man, I don't care who don't like you, I'm on that. Hey, y'all better back the fuck up. I'm dead ass How does it feel to be hated by so many people? It gets my dick hard. I love it. If you ain't got haters, you ain't popping, nigga. Hey, <laughs> point blank, period. I love the fact that they don't know a single fucking thing about me and they, they invest their, their pointless little lives into, to, to, I'm, I'm 19 years old. They invest their pointless little lives into talking shit on the internet and saying how much they hate me. So that way it causes more controversy and it gives more power to my fans. And it makes my fans feel even more happy at the end of the day. It makes me very, very happy. I love it. Hey, Joe. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Play some music. Oh, you're welcome.